February 12th, two more days for Valentine's Day. I wanted to celebrate Valentine's Day early with you guys. I just went to go get some Dunkin' Donuts. They are heart-shaped. Let me show you guys. Hello. I woke up early this morning to go get some donuts um, because they have like Valentine Valentine's Day themed. Look at this cute little heart. So I'm celebrating this morning um, with donuts and coffee. I got myself a matcha and I also got myself an iced coffee. Look at this cute little heart. Currently 11.23 a.m. It took me an hour, literally, to drive over there for Dunkin' Donuts. We don't have a Dunkin' Donuts that is very that is close to my house. But today I'm going to be reading a love book. I don't know which one yet, but let me see. Let's read all about love. Let's see how it is. Is this a nonfiction? Be reading all about love. Happy Valentine's Day. I mean, if you don't have a Valentine, then that's okay because it doesn't matter because what matters is that you truly love yourself and you show yourself love this Valentine's Day and every day buy yourself flowers. <laughs> p.m. I did start reading All About Love um, by Bell Hooks. I don't think you can see it, but I'm on page 80. I'm 26% in and for a person who doesn't like nonfiction, this is a pretty cool, very good read. Okay, it talks about lying in relationships and in the family dynamics, I guess you can say. It also talks about what we can do to actually know love like for example telling the truth telling the truth to ourselves and to others and how sometimes keeping secrets usually about power men usually like lie in relationships more than women because they feel like they have the power in the first chapter it does talk about a relationship with parents and their children. I love this part on page 57 where it says, setting boundaries and teaching children how to set boundaries for themselves prior to misbehavior is an essential part of loving parenting. Um, loving parents work hard to discipline without punishment. Um, they choose punishments like timeouts or the taking away of privileges. Um, it doesn't mean that they never punish, but instead of like punishing by by abuse they punish by timeouts and um by taking away privileges which is what a lot of teachers do and it's, i've always said this before like if you want to be a good parent i don't think that you should punish your child by hitting them and because i just feel that that's some sort of abuse you know you're not going to be hitting someone to communicate with them I loved that part about this book being hurt by parenting adults rarely alters a child's desire to love and be loved by them. I love this chapter. It's 10.30. I might read like five more pages. Finish up my tea. I made myself chamomile tea. Hey, cheers. to go pick them up and I'm so excited because I decided to buy myself two books for Valentine's Day. I got Chain of Thorns. This is the third book of the Last Hours series by Cassandra Clare. Oh, 778 pages. I'm probably going to read it for the weekend because we have the three-day weekend and I'm so excited. I also got It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. 
you know what I'm gonna stop hating this author and I'm gonna give her one more chance I already read two books from her and I hated them they were like the worst books that I have ever had in my that I have ever read in my life but I just keep seeing this book and I'm just gonna give it a chance I'm gonna tr give it a try so bought this book for my class tomorrow how to catch a lovasaurus for Valentine's Day <laughs> mess here i just switched my bookshelves from that side to this side of course like it's messy okay i got rid of some books that i'm no longer gonna read and they're just like taking up so much space but i'm definitely getting rid of the lord of the rings books not because i don't think i'm ever gonna read them okay uh, probably this one, The Last Anniversary by Leanne Moriarty. Probably not going to read this one, honestly. Okay, I'm definitely getting rid of this book. This one as well. I never got to read it. We Owe the Sky by Luke Alda. Twain has to go. I'm probably never going to read Eat, Pray, Love. Honestly, I'm being honest here, guys. Okay, don't hate me. Probably never reading Nora Roberts. Nope. Never get rid of The Devil Wears Prada. This is such a good book. Such a good uh, movie. Getting rid of this one. And Lord of the Rings. Not reading them. Okay. These series are so good. I think I'm ever going to read this one. Ugh. It's Patterson. Patterson. I have two books of these. Okay. Getting rid of this one. Definitely getting rid of this I'm ready to this. I tried to read it. I couldn't. Okay, so this is how my bookshelf turned out. I switched it to this side. <laughs> Yeah.